everyone, Janie here and welcome to part two of Fun with Alcohol Inks. Today I'm going to show you a fun, fast, fabulous way to use your alcohol inks to create the most amazing backgrounds for your mixed media, card making, scrapbooking, whatever it is you want to use it for. So, are you all ready to have some fun? Then let's head on over to the craft table. You're going to need alcohol ink, of course, and then you're going to need glossy cardstock or glossy paper and some canned air. Okay, you're going to need a box to do this in. And I'm using kind of a shallow box so that the camera can get a good view, but you just don't want your alcohol ink to splatter everywhere for what we're gonna do. And of course, you're gonna need a piece of glossy cardstock and you're gonna need your canned air with that nice long straw on there to blow the air out. And you're gonna to have to pick out some colors of alcohol ink. And I've chosen three green ones here. So I have meadow, citrus, and lettuce. And we are ready to get started. Just let me open these up here. And we'll just do one at a time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop it and I'm going to spray it. So you can spray straight on, you can spray at an angle, different effects, okay? So here we go, are you ready? Okay, before I go any further, you might just like that effect all by itself. Can you imagine that and just putting like some flowers on it? Okay. I'm satisfied. I'm pulling this one out. I actually love the way that that turned out and I like my idea of putting flowers on it. So let me get another piece here. And here, got a smaller one here. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> and this time I'm going to do the same thing. So we're going to put a drop and we're going to blow it. Okay. And now I'll get another color here, another green. And the same thing. I'm gonna put a drop on there and I'm gonna blow it. And this time I did it a little bit different. So let me pull it out so that you're getting ideas um, because you don't have to cover the entire piece of cardstock. You can just get some really cool designs with it. I'm gonna turn it around this way now. And let's grab my other green one. And here we go. Another drop. And I'll put another drop here. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back to the original one that I used. All right, let's see what we've got going here. Look at that. Is that cool or what? And the awesome thing is you can do as little or as much as you want. So you can just keep adding. And adding and adding and adding. I'm going to do one more over here in the corner. And I'll show you what I got here. Okay. Cool background, right? Cards, mixed media. Okay. Now, let's try another one. All right. Another piece of cardstock. Okay, this time I'm gonna do some purple and some pink and we'll see what we get. This is actually so much fun to play with. You have no idea. And I like mixed media. I like card making and scrapbooking. So the possibilities are, the possibilities are truly endless here with this. It's just so much fun to play with. Ooh, that one kind of looks like a bird. Okay. So we did some purple, now let's throw in a little bit of pink. That purple was actually called Purple Twilight. And now I'm gonna be using Raspberry, if I can get it open. Okay. 
Okay, I couldn't get my raspberry open, so I'm going with pink sherbet because I just wanted something pink. So, put another drop in there, a couple of drops. You yeah, know, really pretty. Let me see, I'll do one more pink right in there. Okay. And it looks like I probably need a little bit more purple. So let me open my purple back up again. Now if you guys are noticing, you've got to spray it right away. You don't want it to like, you know, dry on there before you spray. So you can create a full on background with this if you want. Instead of just doing a partial, you can actually just do a lot. Actually here. I think I want a little bit more purple right over here at this one end. Okay. And, oh, I got it on me. Yuck. I'm supposed to wear gloves when I do that so that I don't get it on me. I was a bad girl. Okay. Well, now I want a little bit more pink. So put a little drop right there. And a little drop right over here. And a little drop right there. Okay, so. Are you guys get any idea on this? You could just go crazy. You could add as many colors as you want. You can do, you know, fill up a sheet if you want. Or just partially fill one up. I really love that. And you can just do one little thing on there and then use it to put other things around. So this is really fun. And you know, as you saw, you just put a, a drop and you spray right away. You can spray straight on, turn it in different angles, spray it sideways. You can have fun creating so many completely unique designs for your backgrounds, for your cards and your mixed media and your scrapbooking or for whatever you wanna use this for. It is awesome and fun. It also looks pretty cool on acetate. So let's give it a try. And I'll show you what it does. Okay, let's turn it around a little bit. Get some from another angle. On acetate, you have to give it a little bit longer to dry. But that could look really cool as an overlay to something. Here, let me put it over the top of that. Look at that. Pretty awesome, right? You never know what you're going to get, but the designs are always awesome. And sometimes they even look dimensional, like you're going to see right here in this orange and yellow one. And sometimes the design itself will spark your creativity and who knows what you'll come up with. And remember, if you get alcohol ink on your hands or in your work area, it cleans right up with alcohol. Just regular alcohol that you can get at the store real cheap. And I've already cleaned off my hand. It just came right off. Well, that was quick and easy, wasn't it? I love that technique. It is so much fun and so creative and it can be used for so many things. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.